Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with uh, Deportivo in our Unemployed to World Class series. Uh, we are now at the end of the season uh, with them, and as you can see, um, we we did win the league eventually by a record points, I think. Record points? Let's have a look. I think it was record points. Um, most points. Where the, where the hell's most points? Most team points. Yep, yeah. most team points, most team goals. We smashed it this year. Absolutely smashed it. 112 points, 98 goals, 4-4. So 25 against, 2 losses, 4 draws, 36 wins. Second place, Levante go up on 80 points. Um, a whole 32 points clear of them. And Las Palmas actually come up, uh, coming up through the playoffs. So, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a weird one how we, how we did so well this year. Um, but here's the league. Um, after... Last one, we um, went and beat Real Murcia 5 0. Juan Dominguez with two, Nicolas Perrin with two, and Alfonso Maz. 2 1 over Albacete Balompi, or Balompe, um, Perrin and Zabala. A 3 0 win over Girona. Two draws, actually. You do uh, Las Palmas, a 0 0 draw, one of the only games we haven't scored in. And a 2 2 draw with uh, Asasuna. We went, uh, went back to winning over Pontferradina. 3-1, and then we went and smashed Real Z uh, Zaragoza, 7-0, a hat-trick from Porto, a hat-trick from Perrin, and Arise, our young attacking mid, with a goal there, look at that, absolute domination, I just, it was incredible, 7-0 win there, so uh, that was pretty good, we, then we actually lost my first game with them, 2-0 to FC Barcelona B, Jorge Mino got sent off in the 30th minute, they did have a man sent off, uh, just after half time, but they scored again straight after that. So, our first loss, but I don't really mind if we're going to lose one in a season or half a season. So, after that, Real Madrid Castilla, um, we uh, played them. This was this was ridiculous. This was. I don't know how they can bloody do this. As you can see there, Alfonso and Maz got a hat trick. Bloody Karim Benzema. Like, what the, what the fuck? Um, the team I was playing in this game. Um, I uh, brought on, well, I, I had a uh, youngster playing, Bray Torres. He is quite good. He's 15. So I started my 15-year-old centre-back going, oh, yeah, Real Madrid Castilla, they're not going to do anything. But you've got bloody Karim Benzema up front. What? How, how the hell is he allowed to play for bloody Real Madrid Castilla? It's just insane. He got 12 goals in 13 appearances. He smashed it. And I thought he'd kept him quiet the entire game, but the 92nd minute, he bloody scored. So, to be honest, I'm ridiculously happy we were able to beat Remedy Castilla with Karim Benzema up front with a 15-year-old centre-back. So, um, that was just pretty ridiculous there. Real Oviedo, uh, we beat 3-2, Afonso Maz and Porto with goals there. 3-0 over Miranda's, 3-1 uh, over Levante. Um, Antonio Martos with two, who is another youngster who's looking quite good as well. 16-year-old, he came in through my uh, youth intake. I've actually got my first good youth intake, which is pretty incredible. Um, after that was a 3-1 win over uh, Barac Baracaldo. 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 Uh, Antonio Martos with another goal, so he's got three in uh, two so far. And then last game of the season versus UAE, uh, Yago Stera was uh, Sardinero with two goals there to finish it off. So a very, very good season for us there. Um, just lovely to get a Liga Adelante already in, in the pack. So that's sort of a few months with the club. And I've already uh, got another, um, got another, what's it called? Another trophy. So that's pretty, if you look at achievements, uh, Liga Adelante winners. So um, if we look at the uh, league and the awards for the league. Um, so top goal scorer went to Serge Diallo. Uh, playing for Mallorca, he got 26 goals in 30 appearances. Afonso Maz came third, actually. He got 20 goals in 30 appearances, quite good. And goalkeeper of the year went to Razak. It's really weird. They have no awards. They have top goal scorer and goalkeeper of the year. It's kind of weird. Um, if you look at the stats for players of, up the top, Maz came third there. Average rating in Maz there. Games won, obviously, all of us. Razak came second on clean sheets. Um, assists wise, Alfonso Maz did well in there also, so that was pretty good. Um, if you look at our squad overall, um, a lot of players are, I need to, all positions, all sides. Some players have left already, but um, here we go, here's most goals scored. Alfonso Maz got 22. Um, I think Perrin's already gone back from his loan, so he, we don't have his stats anymore. 
Um, Sardinera got 13, Porto got 11. Juan Dominguez had a really good season. He had 9 goals, 12 assists. Um, Imaz, 13 assists, obviously. I'm going to try and get him in for next year as well. Borja did well, and also Brillon. Our fullbacks did very well in this formation for assists-wise. So, um, yeah, we've al already started the transfers. If you can look through here, there's a lot of transfers going on. Um, but I will show that next time, sort of as a roundup of what's happened, because I think it might be a February review. So I can do the transfers right at the start again uh, for all our transfers for Liga BVA, because, I've, to be honest, we haven't got much uh, wage. We've got 21k a week for wage, 1 million transfer budget for the bloody La Liga. So it's going to be a bit of a hard season. Um, we've got 3.3 million in the bank. So... Not too, not too happy about that. How we've got such shit money, basically. Um, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you guys uh, San Martin, I guess. See what they're doing uh, with the league. They are second, actually. Level on points with Boca. Not doing too badly at all. Uh, Claudio Borges done done pretty well with them. Um, the captain is now Bassini with Ramuzco as uh, second captain. If we look at transfers, they um, haven't. Wait, there we go. 2021. They haven't let anyone else really go so far, so it's good, good, good on that front. But we've got the trans like the summer transfer window coming up, so let's see what happens with that. Um, but otherwise, it's been pretty good so far. <laughs> Bloody few months of Deportivo got a new um, new trophy already. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Look, this is amazing. Bray Torres sent back. 15 years old, 17 tackling, 14 marking, 11 heading. Great determination, teamwork and work rate as well. Concentration, bravery, aggression, all fantastic. Needs to get his physicals up a bit. That's the only problem there. Natural finish of three doesn't help. Otherwise, he's really good. That's just the physicals. I really need to get him working on the physicals. And he's only five foot ten for a centre back. So not the best there. Um, also, Antonio Martos came through. As you see, he scored a few goals for us. He's already wanted by three clubs. He's got some good stats overall. Um, but hopefully he can develop it a bit more. Uh, Borja Santiago, another striker. Um, first off, I thought he was going to be the better one, so I played him one game, um, and he didn't score, but then Antonio Martos came through. But he's got some good decisions. He's got great off the ball, determination, finishing and dribbling. Um, so hopefully, with a loan, maybe he could do well. Also, another one, a right back, Francisco Jose Carreño. Um, good, good potential there, so hopefully he can develop well. Got just generally... Really good players come through for first time ever, so it, it's it's quite weird to have actually good players coming through. Um, but yeah, so um, I'll be back when we are in the Liga BVVA, um, when we have to face the likes of bloody uh, Messi. I don't know if Messi's still playing actually. Is Messi still playing? Barcelona won the league. Granada came second. Well, no, we have to face ne Neymar and Messi. Yeah, Messi's there. Neymar's here. He's 29. I just don't want to go near him. It's just. Uh, sad. Atletico de Madrid. Pinero de Silva. We have to face him. He wanted by four clubs. He's transfer listed already. We could sign him back. He hasn't played at all last year. Um, well, you know, he, he played. Yeah, he played seven games for the first team, and he played one game for the B team. But okay, let's see what happens with him soon. Maybe we can bring him back to Deportivo, uh, or bring him to Deportivo, and reuniting with me. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's me, Alex, and I'll see you guys later.